Okay, this is interesting. Fluid is, is a Chicago area ice climbers. Yes, an incredibly skilled uh, to player. To my knowledge, does not wobble. He okay, so he does wobble sometimes. Okay. I played against him in pools at Big House Six. If you're gonna wobble sometimes, Puff needs to be one of those times. You think so? I, I, I think this match is poor. I totally agree, especially when you watch the way that Michael plays the matchup from oh, Chicago. He he goes in with the intention of timing you out. Yeah, it, he's he's totally shameless about it. He owns it. Yep. For that, you have to kind of respect how he's just like so shameless. He he owns his play style. It's hard to play a style where you are admitting and knowing everybody's gonna hate me. But that being said, again, Fluid is going to have so much experience yep. in the matchup yep. playing against Michael. Yep. Fortunately for Fizzle, hailing from Columbus, Ohio, a top puff in the Midwest himself, he doesn't really play much like Michael. No, he does not. This is going to be very different. Um, Fizzle with experience uh, with the local Columbus Ice Climbers, Papa. Yeah. Now, Papa doesn't always play Ices, but... Yeah, but there. again, he, uh, he also plays against Boyd a, a decent Boyd. amount. Yeah, um, and against Boyd in particular, he goes Peach. He, he goes Peach sometimes, he kind of mixes it up. When you see them playing at Mouse 6 recently, Ma 6 or 7, I can't remember, but um, in Athens at OU, Ohio University, um, late 2017, they played, and Boyd took his first set, to my knowledge, off of Fizzle ever. Boyd had a very difficult time. Double eliminated him, and then Fizzle. Boyd actually went on to take a set off of Dreffin and Grands at that tournament. So both of these players have so much experience yep. in the matchup, albeit against players that maybe not have having yep. the same kind of play style. So this is going to be an interesting match to this see. This is a matchup I actually, I don't want to say I love, Sure, it's irritating as all hell, but right. um, I'm I'm the one that Boyd played when he was coming up. Yeah, that really helped him get into shape. You guys played in teams. You guys were oh, like we, the, the I up and coming Midwest this team. team. I think Ice Ice Puff's awesome. It's very interesting. But um, I, so a matchup I know a lot about. It's a matchup you can play a lot of different ways. Yeah. Um, I'm glad Fizzle's not playing Peach. I think his Puff has a higher ceiling in this match than his Peach would. So my understanding of the matchup at like the top level, like like the optimal play is whichever of these characters gets the lead at that very point you want to camp. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I would. Um, they're actually slugging it out though, both of them are. Yeah. More than I ever would. A lot more fun to watch. Yeah. Some and, of my uh, biggest upsets have been on Icy's players. Um, I beat Diz a couple times, and I will admit wow. he's a better player than me. Right. But right. if you play this right as Puff, it is very difficult for Ice Climbers. That's so awesome. You know, I beat Diz a couple times. That's such a sick act. Well, he came out to uh, like one of our Ohio weeklies for one time. Did he really? Reason. So we played in like Neo? an hour. Yeah, we okay. played like an hour long set. Okay. For like six dollars. An hour. Oh, an hour long. Okay. Yeah, it was gotcha. awesome. But like, cool. it was for nothing. It was just because we both wanted to win. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And I see Puff will give you an hour long set. All right. So we're even. Um, can we update? Wait, is this actually one L? Like, did they play game one no, off stream? I don't, oh, I guess maybe. I doubt it though. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. I think we're going to get it That's updated, though. So the way I play this match is he's playing platforms good. Pound's really good. Yeah. You can't really get you grabbed. Sure. Um, and Ooh. if you do hit a pound, it messes Nana up real bad. Yeah. When I'm Puff and they're together, Ooh. I am only aiming at Nana. <laughs> the goal is to get her as separate damage-wise as you can. Right. Kill her and then worry about killing Coco. And it's once you things. do that, like the, the Puff-Sopo matchup is... Not horrible. that bad. Yeah. It's horrible Terrible. for Sopo. Yes. Yes. Of course. When I'm Puff against Sopo, I generally don't like to give him a hit. Mm -hmm. Fizzle trying to find a way in here. Something I've noticed is that if he gets a little too cute with these desyncs, you can actually hit Nana and get your combo started that way. Yeah. Well, Nana bolts are really dangerous. I love about Fizzle that no matter what, he's always smiling. You can tell he's having yep. a good time. Yep. His mentality towards the game has always been a huge strength of yep. his. I agree. You can't go so too much percent. Yeah, you can't go too hard out there. And then he got stuck when they landed, and they have yeah. very little landing lag, and he just took it down. With his drift, it almost looked like he wanted to rest, but just didn't quite pull the trigger. Resting scary in this. If you rest them both, you might get wobbled. I see. Yeah, that makes total sense. Now I, I rest Nana more than I rest Popo. Sure. Because if you're low percent, like 33, and Nana gets rested, what are they going to do to you? They're going like to charge a down smash damage. or something. Yeah. Excuse me. Ten damage from a down smash. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, but just a bit more on on fluid. Um, again, I think recently he's I don't been know trending. A lot about him. He's been trending away from. There it is. He's. The platform might save him, but I think he's dead. Yep. Wow. Oh, oh he does mash out of there. Yeah. I think, I, think yeah. I think it was a bad setup. I think it was a bad setup. I think that that might have been on Fluid's end. Because yeah, but it was tough, though, because of that top platform. It was really tough to get Nana down there ready to go. Yeah. So, yeah, in that rough. sense, that was a really good rest. Whew. That pound could have been everything. Yep. Fizzle desperately trying to find a way to get a rest off. Another thing, though, if he did get wobbled, he would come back even 
And um, Puff can really take control when she's got two seconds of invincibility against yeah. Ice Climbers. And they have so few options, you're either going to shield or roll. Like, what else exactly. can they really do? Exactly. That was a dif difficult count there. That was not good. Yeah. Once they start to read him, you gotta be a little careful. It looked like he was just reading a full jump for some reason. Oh, this is scary. I really like grabbing him. They separate him very well. Um, a setup I like to do... Oh, wow. Dead. If you just grab Popo and up throw him, it's a free rest on Nana. She just stands there like an idiot. He's resting. Because he's up there, he can't do anything. Mm -hmm. And like you said, this is so hard for Sopo. Yeah. I saw some short hop nairs. Those are very good against Sopo. They cover the ground that he would wave dash in on. Exactly. And how else can Sopo approach? Yep. He's got to rely on the wave dash. And when he's degree. on edge, I just spam short hop nair. And the only way he has through it is a perfect ledge dash that's invincible the whole time. Right. And yeah. I make you prove to me that you can do it every time. Totally. And most of you can. Yeah. It's it's hard, especially in a high pressure situation. Exactly. Loot is, is getting a decent amount he of is. damage. Yeah. Now he's not gonna have a kill setup. He's gonna have right. to earn the kill. But uh, I'm trying to think what percent up smash would kill. It'd be soon. It would uh, be yeah. Soon. I think he does need a I bit more percent. So. Yep. Bad DI forward smash might have killed him there. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking FD probably always oh, gonna do Peach. I actually think Puff is on fine FD. on FD. Do you? Yeah. Because the the advantage of FD for ICs usually is that they can't just platform camp. You. Right. They have to like play melee Puff with you. Puff can't. Puff does not have to play melee with you. Sure. She can land all the way over there. She can go, go to ledge. ledge. Yep. Yeah. She doesn't have to deal with this. Yeah. Fizzle has a lot of experience with, yep. honestly, so many characters, but particularly this character for this matchup. Yeah. Now, one thing I like about Fluid is that Fizzle is playing the don't get grabbed, don't get hit game. Yeah. And even without wobbling, Fluid is keeping it respectable, very close. He's finding these hits, and he's not finding what many consider Icy's best tool, right? He yeah. He's not wobbled him yet. That's true. That is true. And, um, and it, it doesn't surprise me because any Icy's has to be good at this that matchup. That was a weird mistake. He may have been going for a weird grab on the turnip or something. Like, at this point in Fluid's career, how many Peaches do you think he's playing? So many. Like, you yeah. have to know yeah. this matchup like the back of your no, hand. I don't think Chicago has any extremely strong Peaches. They have, they um, do, I don't know. Ferocity is one pretty good okay. Peach. Um, Egg. Or Eggum. No, Eggum is an old school fox. Egg, I think yeah, it's just Egg, egg or okay. Eggy. It's Eggy. Eggy. Oh, so I have heard that. There's some like peaches around like top 10, top 12 ish in Chicago, but nobody that's kind of like breaking the mold. Yeah, per se. This is always a risk as Icy's too, is uh, some dude just picks peach on you. Yeah. And that's just it. Like, you have to be good enough in this matchup to beat people's pocket peaches yep. that aren't really exactly. that practiced. Boyd had a lot of trouble getting to that level. Yeah. Where but once you get there, I'm sure it's so satisfying to win the matchup. Yeah, and you can probably, once you're good at it, you know right away, okay, this peach sucks, and I'm just going to destroy it. Yeah. Because they don't play peach. But uh, Fizzle is a strong lead to go off here. Fizz Fluid probably hears this all the time, but I think he needs to look for more wobbles. Yeah. He got the kill with grab there, that but... That would certainly help. Yeah. Because he's not really... His neutral doesn't involve going for grabs. Oh, oh no. no! I'm surprised that Fizzle spammed down smash there. You'd think that he'd want to fight Popo yeah. and earn more time you know to kill him. That did not hurt Fluid at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it Fizzle actually took way more damage. <laughs> yeah, it ended up being a good thing for... Uh, for fluid, and again, I think it's just because Fizzle was like so determined to hit Nana immediately. Yeah. But Nana was zero; he couldn't have gotten. Him. He was right. not killing. Him. Especially not with down smash, it would have sent her back to center stage. Exactly. But again, this is—he's still in the tournament, so I'm not gonna criticize. Him. Right, <laughs> right. I'm sitting here from the sidelines saying how wrong he is. Yeah, he's—he's uh, he's still doing quite well, and he's yeah. poised to take oh, this match. Nice. Again, like I said, this is a this is a very practiced character for him, especially for this matchup. Yeah, this is why his peach exists, right? One of many reasons. Okay. He just likes playing characters, man. He's still got one of the best yeah, Donkey Kongs in Ohio. He reminds me of uh, myself in a way. I've seen his Doc. I've seen him play Pika. Yeah. He finds a character and just plays it. I have more fun learning a character than I do like perfecting a character. Sure. And that plagued me for years. Actually. Yeah, and this is the hard part. Yep. Great patience from Fizzle. And again, Fluid doesn't have a lot of options there. Yeah. Now this is top 16. This is a best of five. Yeah. Anything can happen. Again, wobbling is still on. It's yeah, turned because on. he hasn't wobbled him yet doesn't mean he won't. He can't. But... Ooh. Clutch spot dodge yeah. there to avoid a potential opportunity. Nice. Uses Nano's bait. Yeah. He can't really afford to do that very many more times. So true. Now, if he can get, like, a really quick wobble setup right now... Yeah. 
Got oh, called. I think Nana's dead. He's got to go out there. Yeah. He, oh, I think he messed up. That was a very good Nair. Because there's a point where you have to risk your Popo to go save her. And when you're down like this on your last stock, that's when he had to do it. And if he died trying to save her, then whatever. Because if he didn't save her, the game was probably over. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, Fizzle, or I'm sorry, uh, Zets is running for a minute. That's okay. I think we're going to get Walt back in here. Um, I can hold us down until then. Fizzle was unsure who was going to pick there, but he's going to go with the Peach. I think he felt like, I mean, the Peach game was less close than the Icy game. I like the Yoshi's pick, but maybe not versus Peach. Oh, Nana confuses herself and dies on the cloud. That sucks. She's always going to go for the cloud, regardless of, like, how good of a decision it is. Nana is not... Nana is not smarter than a fifth grader. I'll say it that way. Alright, we got Walt hopping back on. Hello, bro. Glad to have him. So we are game three Fizzle Fluid. Yeah. It seems like it's been pretty Fizzle favored consistently yeah. through. Yeah, with multiple characters, too. Yeah, Fizzle... Really a master at uh, beating Ice Climbers with a lot of different characters. Yeah, we at talked earlier, Boyd, our local climber, had uh, a lot of trouble getting that first win on Fizzle. And a lot yeah. of it was with Peach. Peach and Ice Climbers. And ice I was going to bring up, Fizzle has beaten Boyd and probably others in the Icy's Ditto. Yeah, I, at least Pop, too, I imagine. But honestly, a pretty solid lead here to yeah, start with. Yeah, this is looking bad. And then Nana's yeah. just dead. Uh, just back, but not much. Fizzle's way. Oh, banana. Yeah. Still living. Quite. Some good DI. Banana's <laughs> getting beat around. Yeah, but There's a kill, though. That back air is a very good move. Yeah, absolutely. Ice Climbers, I feel like, underrated for how good they are alone. Honestly. Like uh, Sopo? Yeah. They have some pretty is solid options. Yeah. I, feel like, yeah. I think he should not be allowed in a low tier tournament. I think he's too good for that. Absolutely. That I feel like he's at least a Mario. Gotta be close, right? Yeah, I mean, but either way, here's some pretty his, solid His down play. throw is no wobble, but he gets a nice setup. He gets combos. Apparently 60%. So Yeah, on Peach, too. None yeah. of that was like a true combo. He just outplayed him. Yeah, just some definite. Like, I think it would be wrong to take away any kind of like fluids play from here. It's just yeah. that Fizzle feels I feel very good at the match. particularly comfortable in this, this matchup. Another. I like when it's down to Popo and you start seeing, uh, you see the dash dance coming out, you see the different style. That was a terrible down smash, he's gonna die yeah. for it, 92. Yeah, but you gotta not let Nana get hit anymore though, because she's gotta be at 40%, and Popo's at 8, they're gonna be very different. Yeah, but... but. Definitely some good play there. Yeah, Fluid's taking a lead. Honestly, first time in the set. Yeah, it seems like a little bit different from what I was personally observing. Yeah, this is very different. He figured something out. Maybe it's the stage. Yeah. Maybe Catch it's him. learning what is, in a way, gimmicky peach. Honestly, I mean, it's not his character. Yeah, catching a, a lot of miss spacings in. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a big thing. So. And so you see Nana died from a fourth throw. Popo's at 33%. Yeah. That's how different they were. That's a big problem. Oh, no. The question is, where's the momentum following that yep. SD? Because Here's the thing, though. You can't be that mad because he picked Yoshi's, yeah. right? When you bring the nonsense cloud into the game... If it kills you, it's... You, know, you it's brought on you. it here. Yeah. Plus, it's, you, know, you know when it's coming, so... Might not have been looking for it, but definitely... Yeah. Good. No excuse, though, right? The clock is not random. Good. That should be a wobble. Oh, he and did something really weird! Oh, Ooh. no. Nana again just... And then Popo ran into it too, Nana's dead, that's it. Oh, she might get the cloud, maybe? No, no yeah. way. Question oh, and then he had to go for it, I feel like. F's up the save. And Zets is uh, back from his bathroom break, so I'm yep. hopping off. It was just good for that half sure game, Walt. Dave was not alone. So Fizzle, 3-0. That was top 16 losers. I destroyed my hair. Ugh. All right, so Fizzle's now moving on to a guaranteed ninth? Ninth place. Yep. At one of the most stacked events, if not honestly the most stacked event we've ever seen hey, in Ohio. Hey, Jake and Shake and Fizzle.